It's a Christmas tradition here to share the story of how one family has found a way to express the meaning of the holiday season. It's a moving example of love for our country and personal generosity. Once again, here is our Power Player of the Week. We wouldn't have the opportunities uh, if it wasn't for the people that fought for us uh, and gave their lives for us. It's that plain-spoken wisdom that has driven Moral Worcester for years on a mission that has touched America's heart. Each December, Worcester places wreaths at Arlington National Cemetery, and thousands of volunteers are there to help him. I think a lot of people think like I do. They just want to, you know, uh, they appreciate the veterans, and they want to show it. This story begins back in 1962, when Worcester, then a 12-year-old paper boy from Maine, won a trip to Washington. What impressed him most was Arlington, its beauty and dignity, and those rows and rows of graves. Every one uh, represents a life and, and a family and a, and a story. Uh, uh, they're not just tombstones. I mean, those are all people. Thirty years later, in 1992, Worcester was running his own wreath company in Harrington, Maine. But as Christmas approached, he had a bunch left over. These wreaths were real fresh, were great, uh, uh, just made, and I just didn't want to throw them away. He thought of Arlington and all those graves. When the cemetery approved, he and a dozen volunteers drove the wreaths down and laid them on the headstones. And so it continued for years, until a few Christmases back, when an Air Force sergeant took this picture, which ended up on the Internet. It kind of struck a nerve, and, and people emailed it to each other, and, and, it, and it really went around the world. Go on right there. There you go, sir. We were there the next year as he and his workers at the Worcester Wreath Company loaded up 5,265 wreaths. Then they embarked on what Worcester calls the world's longest veterans parade, a 750-mile journey that at some points attracted more than 100 vehicles. And when they got to Arlington, so many people wanted to participate. The ceremony you are about to witness is an Army wreath laying ceremony to be conducted for the Worcester Wreath Company. For years, Worcester paid for all of this out of his own pocket. And he started Wreaths Across America, sending hundreds to cemeteries and war memorials around the country. But he will need help to reach his new goal. I think there are around 2.7 million graves, and that's a tall order to decorate 2.7 million graves. So, uh, but may, you'd like to do it, wouldn't you? I, I really would. Yeah, sometime. I, I don't know how, but hey, you know. How long are you going to keep doing this? I'm going to keep doing it for as long as uh, I work, and then I know my family is going to continue. So, it'll be here for a long time. This is the 26th year Moral Worcester has taken on his Christmas wreath project. This month, volunteers placed more than one and a half million wreaths on veterans' graves at over 1,400 locations in all 50 states. And now, another Christmas tradition. Here's a look from the last three years at all five of the Wallace grandkids. And now, here they are again, and they keep growing. Caroline, Livy, Sabine, James, and William. From our family to yours, have a very Merry Christmas, and we'll see you next Fox News Sunday. You've gotten quite professional at that. All right, guys. Three, two, one. Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas.